Hi, I'm Craig McLeod and welcome to Drift My Ride. Today we've got James's Audi A4 Quattro. Quattro, meaning four in Italian, is a four-wheel drive system developed by Audi chassis engineer Jorg Bensinger. In 1977, Jorg found the Volkswagen Itis could outperform any other vehicle in the snow, no matter how powerful. Realising the potential this would have in rallying, Audi managed to sneak through a rule change to allow four-wheel drive cars. In 1980, Audi let loose the Quattro, which turned the rallying world upside down. James, how you doing? Hey, nice good. to see you. Good to see uh, you so, uh, we've got a bit of a wet, oh not wet, a wintry uh, uh, drift van today. So, we decided we'd got our resident James here, who has a four-wheel drive Audi Quattro. So, he, we're going to have a wee play with this. So, James, tell us a wee bit more about what we've got. Yeah, just... Um decided to buy a sensible road car which is what happens, what happens when you get <laughs> this married this is your version like of your sensible yeah well sensible but it's got to be cool to an extent and, yeah. and i needed a big bus for going drifting and stuff like that you yeah. can be amazed how much tower i can get 12 towers on the back of this thing it's a beast yeah um, yeah so what is something comfy on the motorway diesel looked relatively cool so we went with the black mm -hmm. with the black windows uh, and the, the tinted rear lights just to kind of set it off yeah which is nice so big wheels on it as well isn't it yeah came with them and um, they were like 50 pence pieces when i got them uh -huh. but um shameless plug here we restore alloys hooked me up <laughs> okay uh, <laughs> so this is just a your daily isn't it so we yeah, just thought we'd have a wee play with this today so but you've got a bit of history doing uh motorsport so you did i uh, know you did karting when you were younger as well is that, is that yeah. what you started off doing yeah is that ages Seven, uh -huh. I had my first go-kart. Was your dad into karting or was no, it family? No, my dad, dad really wanted me to be a footballer. Okay. Uh, I have no interest in football. Kick it in, in the goal! The yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I couldn't name a player. Yeah. That, that Rooney guy, he was in the paper a lot, but besides him, that's yeah. pretty much it. Um, and I was just always obsessed with cars from a young age, uh, playing with cars, remote control cars, always watching Formula One and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. my dad thought it would be a good idea to get me a go-kart, which turned out to be a really bad idea because it one of these things that just, oh, I'll, we'll do it cheap kind of thing. And yeah. I ended up um, being a manufacturer driver for a British team uh -huh. um, and doing British championships, multiple Scottish champion as well, um, and then raced cars and found my way into the fun side of motorsport eventually. Oh, awesome. So, yeah, like, so, like my drifting, like my Gymkhana. So your Gymkhana, what, uh, what the, how did you, where did you start with that? Was it, is that a, a Scottish thing or a national? How did that, <laughs> how did that go? Uh, basically, I started at the world final. Uh -huh. um, start at the world final. I had never done it before, before uh -huh. I went to the world final. Um, and how that where came was, about. Where was, was the world final? At that time, it was 2015. So that would have been at Santa Pod outside uh -huh. London. Yeah. Um, basically, I really wanted to meet Ken Block. Uh -huh. <laughs> Cause so you thought the cool. best thing to do is to get a car and just well, compete against him? I've got, I've got friends who did who do and did Gymkhana uh -huh. and um, I had found out that you money couldn't buy you tickets to get in. I was mm. willing to pay hundreds of pounds of tickets. Money couldn't get you into the pit lane to chill yeah. out with Ken Block. Um, and then they basically put up a thing saying wild card entries, come to the Saturday last chance qualifier. If you finish in is it the top three, you get to race on the Sunday with the big guys. Yeah. Um, so I phoned up Grant Swan, AW Motorsport up in uh, Cooper, and was like, can I have a shot at your car? And he was like, how did you get my number? Who's this? <laughs> um, I went up, had a coffee with him, spoke to him, did a deal with him, got the car, went down to Santa Pod, and um, came second on the Saturday, so I ended up in the big race on the awesome. Sunday. Awesome! Um, with a car that wasn't made for Jim Gymkhana, it was basically a drag car with a hydro in it. Uh -huh. Um, what was it? Was this the Subaru? Subaru, Subaru, was it? Yeah. Subaru, yeah. Got a bunch of new events coming up, I'm guessing. Yeah, and just uh, got SDC you're doing and yep, we've Scottish got, Drift Championship for Scottish Drift Drift Championship. Event. Yeah, um, we've got RDC Retro Drift Championship coming in. We've got British Drift Cup. And we're kind of doing something special with the British Drift Championship, which we can't tell you about yet. Okay. But basically, don't miss Can the you BDC. Tell me <laughs> Maybe. Uh, Pay me. <laughs> quick chat about this. Really yeah. quick, because there's really, not this much is, to tell you. There's not much to tell about this car. This is a daily. We've got a nice kind of thing, but like, what kind of? So we're four wheel drive Quattro. Yep. What well, diesel? Yep. TDI. Uh, 
Yes, twin turbo. Twin turbo? Which is notoriously right. for being the really, really bad engine, I'm told. Okay, right. <laughs> so what is it? It's not like a V8 or... It's a V6. V6, V6 right. twin turbo, two and a half litre. Two and a half litre um, V6. Literally, besides the show-off wheels, the tinted windows and the jailbait tinted lights, I've got a Bluetooth system and that is pretty much it. It is factory. Awesome. Um, yeah, the car, as it came, um, I got it cheap. And it was just a daily I was going to run into the ground, but it just doesn't seem to break. So German. I just, just keep, yeah, the Germans just, just good keep at running it, yeah. <laughs> right, uh, well, let's uh, take it for a spin. Right, so, oh, can we turn traction control off? Where's traction control? We don't want that. Above. Off. Yeah, that's us off. Yeah. Right, let's see what the four wheel drive skids is. Uh, windscreen wipers. Alright, let's. A little bit of. Yeah. It's fine once it's out, you just have to get it out. <laughs> Here. Oh, it's weird having that four wheel drive, it actually pulls a wee bit at the front. Yeah. You don't want to awesome. try and keep the corners I've found like, as wide as possible because then you don't find the limits of lock. Because unless it's actually a built car with lock, then you end up running out of it really not quickly. Too, yeah, not too much. Ooh, and grips and ground and come on, all the way. Turn Ready? into it, more power that way, that way, that way. Turn into it, four wheel drive. Four wheel drive, yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah. Because you're too used to I'm, Yeah, speed. I'm total, totally used to as soon as I, if I put the power, put power, the power, power down, then I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to over rotate, yeah, I suppose, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Well, this pulls, pulls you around as opposed to trying yeah. to, try to spin you out. Oh yeah, you put it. No way, that's it's, totally different, isn't it? It's a complete. Oh, that, this is well. This is <laughs> like yeah. This is like a whole new learning experience. All right, I'm gonna go this way. Oh, I guess we let's get bigger, longer ones, so then I can kind of get a bit more used to it than trying to change direction too much. Yeah. So power, and then keep coming in. Keep it power. Keep it power. Keep it power. There we go. <laughs> weird. Huh? That is weird. Give it a wee bit of a thing flick to keep me going. Oh, no way. Oh, come on. Oh, whatever. Off the brake, off the brake. Off the brake. Four wheel drive, pull you back in. Yeah, it's just that's. Uh, this is a completely different way of driving. I am totally not used to that at all. My, bo my body keeps telling me, no, no, you're doing something wrong here. You're on the track, you're doing something wrong. Right, so. Uh, I'm going to go for a quite a wide end right now, so what am I doing? What Keep am I doing? Into it. Power, power, power. There we go. And then counter steer it when you're almost spun. Power, counter. Power, power, power. There we go, see? Nice and easy. Lively, big. Yeah, that is completely different from what I'm used to doing. And then a little bit more just to yeah, take the see. nose in and then. Keep the front going the way you want it, as opposed to steel with the rear. <laughs> <laughs> just use the power to keep going. Yeah, and then like normally that, that would have been spin. spin. That would have yeah. been spin, but this is just like... Right, okay. It's so much fun. <laughs> yeah, it's... Because oh, we were doing a wee MX-5 before and it was this total touch the power. Oh, you just... But this you're actually using the power, the power to, to, save to, to, to save you, yeah. yeah. Keep turning it in. Yep, power, power, power. No <laughs> way! Right, turn back in, power, power, power. Yeah, and it just feel, you just feel all of a sudden the front sort of hunkers down and grips it. It's kind of, it's easier, but it's not like the, it's just, it's more difficult for me because I'm not used to it. But yeah, right. I think before I start getting too confident, we know what happens when that happens. So uh, let's let's finish it there. Awesome. Oh, that was a nice wee lesson. Something different. Something yeah, new. we got taught something today. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you.